Oh my gosh, it's my favorite segment of the entire week. One couple in Paola, Kansas is lending a helping hand to Kansas City, Missouri police officers. This kindness comes from two Dutch shepherds. This one is named Raven and this one is named uh, Josie. And we have Officer Cullen, we have Sergeant Taylor, and we have Officer Acton here with us today to talk about uh, these two pups here. Because today is National Puppy Day, is it not? Have you guys heard about that? I have not heard about yeah. that. So let's talk about these two pups here, beautiful pups. What kind are they, Sergeant? So they're 10 week old uh, Dutch Shepherds. Mm -hmm. uh, they are donated to us a couple of weeks ago by a couple in Paola. Yeah. So, uh, Officer Cullen, how has uh, Raven uh, been getting along at the at the house here? Have you been introducing Raven to the kids? And she's doing I mean, well. She's I bet mean, the kids well. have got, got her trained probably already, right? The kids are already teaching her how to sit. They're 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 ahead of the game. Yeah, they're helping so you, me out. You're eventually, you're going to be the handler for Raven, right? That's right. Okay. And what about Josie? How's Josie been uh, early she's, on? She's been doing well. She's, yeah. You know, has the puppy issues. But. Yeah. Now. Uh, these puppies are, I mean, how old are they right now? They're 10 weeks old right now. Yeah. They just turned. And when do they start the process of earning their badges? Uh, right now, we're just working on simple bonding between the, the dog and the handler and a little bit of obedience. Once they reach about a year old, we'll start working with uh, a little bit of detection work with them mm -hmm. at that time. So all the dogs in our canine unit are dual purpose dogs. So that means detect, they're, they're certified in detection and patrol work. Oh, okay. And, and what makes a Dutch Shepherd uh, a good uh, animal to, to work with officers? They're along the same lines of what of everybody's heard of Belgian Malinois too, but Dutch Shepherds are their own breed. Um, their athleticism, their agility, their drive, and they are they want to work. Yeah. This is what they, these dogs are made for. Yeah. What what kind of person, uh, personality do you think Josie has? What have you noticed in her? She has attitude. She's got some attitude, huh? <laughs> she, she, she likes to try to boss my coon hound around. Uh huh. It doesn't work very well, but uh, she's trying. Yeah, that's good. And what about for Raven? Uh, she's got an attitude also. She does yeah. not like to be told no. Oh, I see. She doesn't want you to stop her from chewing on things she's not supposed to be chewing on. Yeah. Sergeant, how big will these do uh, dogs get? Uh, I would say probably roughly around 70 pounds. Okay. And uh, so. Dutch Shepherds, uh, there's, I believe you've seen German Shepherds, and are like King Shepherds also a part? C can they also be a part of uh, as officer training, or a little bit less? Um, I have not heard of that. Okay. Mostly it's German Shepherds. Uh, we mostly have Belgian Malinois, we have, and then we have Dutch Shepherds also. So um, right now we have a majority of Belgian Malinois. Gosh, all right, and uh, give us an idea about how uh, Josie might be able to help you uh, out there and about if you're called to the scene for something, what kind of job would Josie do uh, in a situation to help, help well, you guys out? Right now, uh, I'm the fostering the dog because I have a working dog already that okay. I won't be taking her once she's uh, reached a year and a half. Okay. Um, but as a patrol dog, uh, depending on whether she ends up being a narcotics or a bomb dog, uh, for the odors, she will be able to track articles. She'll be able to search for parties. Uh, and obviously, as a patrol dog, if uh, we have a suspect that's eluding us or trying to run, she will do very well at uh, apprehending that individual. Yeah, she certainly would. And Officer Cullen, how long uh, do you expect to have uh, Raven with you? Will, will she be a part of your life for, like, forever now? Will she be a uh, part of your family? If, if she works out and, yep. she, and she can cut it as a police dog, then yep, I will have her since she's a puppy all the way, you know, mm -hmm. until the end of her life as a working dog. And then when she retires, I'll keep her then. So and is this the first time you've been working with a dog or have you worked with several dogs before in your career? Um, right now, uh, if she works out, she would be my third dog. Third dog. So I'm, I'm working my second dog right now. Special relationship, I would imagine. Yeah, very, very special. Okay. Gosh. Gosh, well, hey, I want to thank these three humans up here on stage for your service. Thank you. We thank you. And hey, you two, pipe down, will you? Just calm down. You'll get a treat here in just a second. So thank you guys for coming in. Thank you. Best segment of the week, you guys.